Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build websites using Go High Level in a matter of minutes. Whether you're a complete beginner, a marketer, or a small business owner looking to create a beautiful online presence without the need for coding skills, you have to stay tuned and watch this video. And if you sign up for Go High Level using our affiliate link below, you'll unlock an exclusive 30-day free trial. That's double the usual 14 days. Plus, we're throwing in over $2,000 worth of bonuses, including a free landing page template. So now let's jump into the video. All right, so again, for this tutorial, suppose we have a client who needs to have a website. So we're going to go to our sub account. And once again, our client's name is, let's say, Euphoria Guest House. It's a resort in Bali, Indonesia. So we are going to create a website for this specific client. So once you go to your sub account, go to sites and click websites. And as you can see, we don't have any websites here on this list. So we're going, going to go ahead and click new website. So you can either choose to create a website from scratch or create a website from the existing templates that we have. So for this tutorial, we're going to choose uh, from templates. And here you will see tons and tons of pre-made templates for your client's website. So again, our uh, client is a resort. So we're going to choose a website template that would best fit our client's business. Let's say a bed and breakfast. So this is the closest um, keyword or uh, list of templates that we can uh, use for our client. So we'll just edit the uh, pictures and the content along the way. So let's uh, try to choose this. Let's uh, see a preview first by clicking this eye icon. So you will see all the animations and uh, all the content of this pre-made template. So let's go ahead and choose this one. All right, so this is what we're going to see when we get to the website editor, and we're going to cover all the uh, essential stuff that you need to know as a beginner when it comes to editing a website. So first, this is the add elements button. So what's good about the website builder is just uh, this is a drag and drop action. So if you want to put a headline, you can just drop it right here. If you want to put an image, you may also do so. And of course, you can always remove the sections that you've added by just uh, clicking the delete button here. So if you want to know all the items that are present in the website builder, so you just have to click on one item. Let's say this, it's it's going to be uh, named here. It's a navigation menu. This one is a section. Uh, this one is a headline. This one is an image. And this is a column. And this one is a, um, it says it's a three, it's a three column section. Uh, another headline, so on and so forth. So if you want to change the settings of a certain section or uh, a column or uh, a certain item, so you just have to click um, the item or the section or the element itself, and you will see all the settings here on this side. So now I'm going to show you some of the essential edits that you can do. Uh, when you try to build your website. So the first basic thing that you can do is to edit images or change images that are present in the um, in the website. So let's uh, first edit the um, header here or the navigation menu since this is the first thing that you're going to see on the website. So you have to make sure that your branding is here. So for our client, it's uh, Euphoria Guest House. So we already have a pre-uploaded um, picture here. So just click the picture and copy the link, then go back to the settings section. So if you scroll down, you will see the uh, image options for the logo. So just paste it and you will see that the logo will change. You can also change the uh, size of the logo. So let's say let's make it bigger. Just uh, exit this and that's done. So now you just updated the logo on your navigation menu. So now let's go ahead and update another picture. So as you can see here on this section, 
uh, we need to change this picture because I don't think it's appropriate for our client. Let's choose Unsplash and search for, let's say, Resort. So maybe you can use this. Then Import to Media Library. But of course, it's always best to use and upload actual pictures that your client will provide. So your uh, pictures in your website would be more realistic. Okay, so same thing. So everything will be um, located here under My Media. So let's choose this one, the same thing. Let's copy the link and paste it here. And there you have it. So we already updated this photo right here. Now that I've shown you how to edit the um, items inside your website elements, let's go ahead and add a new element. So click the plus sign right here and you will see all the different elements that you can add like sections, um, rows with columns, other elements like um, buttons, pictures, uh, photo galleries, and all sorts of those good stuff. So let's look at the pre-built sections and let's choose this design right here. So again, this is easy to use. It's just drag and drop. You just click and drag it to your website. Let's choose this design because we want to uh, showcase uh, the rooms of our resort. So as you can see here, we still need to edit the content of this section. So of course you have to change the text of the header right here. You have to change the text inside the columns as well, and maybe um, put some pictures over here. And of course we also have to edit the button functions. All right, so we already made some edits on the new section that we added. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how I edit this real time. So let's change this to choose your room because it's more appropriate. And then as you can see, there is a missing image here. So let's add a new element. All right. And as you can see, uh, the image is not aligned compared to the previous two columns. So this is just easy. As you can see, there's uh, an up and down arrow here. So we just click down and it will switch places with the uh, with the other um, element. So now let's add the uh, image. So same thing, copy link and we're good to go. All right, so I also changed the background of our uh, section right here. So now it's white, it blends with the theme of our website. I also changed the font color of uh, the header right here. So now we don't want this section to be on top of the website. We still want to retain the position of the previous uh, elements that we have. So you can um, change the position by clicking the down button here. Okay, now it's on the third uh, or fourth layer of our website. Now that we're done adding a new element and editing the uh, items inside that new element or section, we're now going to fix the buttons that are in our pre-made uh, website template. So let's start with the navigation menu. Of course, these um, texts should be clickable. Click and then the settings will appear here on the right side. So let's try fixing the rooms. So just click here. So you can change the uh, text or the title and you can change the action of this button. So what we want to happen is when we click the word rooms uh, in the navigation menu, it should go to the rooms. So there's a URL here, but it's not really a URL. So let's um, paste the exact um, prompt for this button. So click cancel and let's go to the room itself. So click the section, go to advanced, and you will see the CSS selector. So it has the same format. So just copy and go back to our navigation uh, menu and then paste it here. And just click submit and you're good to go.
And you also have the the option if you want to um, open open a new tab when you click the button, but uh, we're not going to do that. Let's just click submit and we're good to go. All right, so let's try another one. Let's uh, change the function of this button right here. So it says explore our room. So it has to make sure that when we click it, it leads to our rooms um, section of the page. So scroll down um, here on the settings, button settings, then go to button actions, then, then click the link, open pop-up, scroll to element. And then click and let's see. Okay, now that's done. Let's just click the save button. Now let's go ahead and test our uh, website or our button functions um, with all the changes that we made so far. So click this button right here, preview. And here's the preview of our website. So first we did some changes with the rooms button. So it has to go to the room section. And let's just scroll back up. Let's try this button as well. And there we go. So another thing that we need to learn about building websites is to create our forms. So the forms are used to get leads, um, contact um, potential clients or customers, and even book um, reservations and uh, earn revenue. So let's take a look at how to create a form. Let's go to this section right here and these buttons are supposed to generate a form, a booking form for our uh, potential customers. So from our website builder, let's just exit and go back to our uh, dashboard. So from the sites page, let's go to forms. So here in this page, you can create um, and edit existing forms. So as you can see, there are already existing forms. So let's try to add a new one. So same like our website builder, you can either start from scratch or choose a template. And it's basically the same. So you just have to choose the right uh, form uh, for our uh, business. But for now, we already have an existing uh, form that I created. So same thing, I just edited, I just edited it. I um, changed the image, the content and all those good stuff. So it's the same like your website builder. You just have to drag and drop the elements and you're good to go. You can preview the form, how it looks like and do some test uh, submissions. So the thing that we want to happen is that when we do um, submissions, when, when uh, customers click submit, it would lead to a thank you page. So that's what we're going to do. So for now, let's... Uh, Click back and let's go back to our websites. Click the website that we just created. And as you can see, the pre-existing website that we created has three pages. Um, you can also add a new page for your website. Uh, but for now, we are going to go with three. So we have a thank you page. And this is what I intend to uh, use so that it this this page would appear once a customer would submit a booking form. So how are we going to paste this? So just click preview, copy the URL or the web um, address here, and let's go back to our form. Then let's go to the settings of the uh, submit button. So go to styles and options click options and then click on submit. And here it's either you can choose to uh, flash a message or do a, uh, an order confirmation and you can also use a URL. So let's paste the URL that we just copied, which, which is our thank you page and click save. Now let's uh, do a preview. So let's uh, put, um, some information here and submit. And there we go. So when our customers click submit, it would lead them to our thank you page. And of course, from your forms page, your submissions would appear here. So just 
hover and click submissions. So as you can see, you have one submission and this is the uh, submission. Let's go back to our website editor and let's integrate the form that we just created to these buttons here. And what we want to happen is that when we click a button, there's a pop-up that's going to show up and it would lead to our booking form. So let's click this element. So it would show the settings, scroll down, and then under the button actions, it has to show this action open pop-up. So there are other um, button actions as well, but of course we want to open a pop-up. So click open pop-up. And so here on this navigation menu, go to pop-up settings, click. And so of course we don't have um, anything here yet. So add row, so one column add element, and then let's add our form. And Go High Level will ask us to choose a form. So of course, let's choose the resort booking form and click Save. Now that everything's done, let's test all the functionalities of the website that we just created. So click Preview. So first, let's test the rooms. So far, so good. Let's check this button. So it also leads to the rooms. And now let's do a test booking. So click this and it opens our pop-up. Let's enter our customer's name, check in and check out date and submit. And there you have it. We are now ready to publish our website. All right, so when we want to publish a website, so just click publish and Go High Level will ask you to select an existing domain that you have. So you can select it here from the drop down or you can add some domains. So for now, we don't have an existing domain, so let's click add. Go High Level will ask you to connect a domain that you have. Um, it, it could be from Bluehost or GoDaddy or whatever website or domain provider you have, or you can purchase a domain from Go High Level. Let's try this one. Click search, and you will see that this domain is available. So just click buy so you can have your own domain. And there you have it, a complete beginner's guide on how to build a website using Go High Level. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and that you're feeling confident to start building your own website today. Before you go, don't forget to take advantage of the exclusive offer available by clicking the link in the description below. You'll get a 30-day free trial, over $2,000 worth of bonuses, and a free landing page. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on more tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.